Well, hello, my friends, and welcome to exercise number two in our Kotlin course. So we are asked to print out the multiplication table like this below. We have uh, numbers, one, two, three, four, five, and as column, one, two, three, four, five, and here is the result of multiplication two by two, row times column equal to four. If we get five times five, we will have a result of 25. And so how to make this? Please pause the video and think about it and try to write it in your computer and test it. And then, then let me show you the solution. So I am waiting you guys. So you guess it, you try it. Let's start with solving this exercise. I am going to show you how to think and how to uh, make your algorithm works fine. The things that we succeed in m approaching millions of people, like in our applications, like master coding application on Play Store, or whether the Udemy courses that complete Java or the complete Android developer course on uh, our Udemy pages and our U U YouTube is that is that we teach algorithm. We teach how you need to think, how you think, how to solve, how to problem solving all of your exercises problems and many things so we are helping you in developing your thinking your algorithm your problem solution problem solving techniques with uh, these courses so please guys take into consideration that these exercises are very important and to take notes are also very important thing how to uh, solve this we start and we, st we look that, that we have uh, one row, second row, third row, and it is repeated. So the rows are repeated, like one, two, three, four, five. We have iteration. So we have a row iteration. And we look that there is a column iteration. So we are working from one, column one, two, three, four, and five. Okay, guys? So this will trigger for in in our brain that we need to use the for loop but there is one trick that we have to use the nested loops if we use the loop the for loop we can print only like this line or we can print only like this uh, line one two uh, three uh, four, uh, five, okay? Or we can print like this, one, two, one, two, three, four, five, okay? This can be printed with using one loop and this will be printed using one loop, but we need, don't need like this, we need a table. So, always when you have a table, use a nested loop so we start for we make a, a row as a, a constant and in zero on zero to uh, four because we have zero one two sorry rows one zero one two three and four okay Again, I need to print a for loop and I will uh, call the constant column and it is in zero also to four, okay? Now, what we need to print inside every cell, so we have here an access to the cells. So each cell, I need to print it out. How to, what are, what we are going to print? We are going to print the row times the column it will give me the result in this cell which is 25 so how to do that we start by creating a new variable called sum equal to zero okay so var equal to sum equal to zero 
And now let's create a sum equal plus equal to the row times column. Okay. Let me clarify something new. Sum plus row times column. It's the same writing, the same syntax, and I showed you in the previous video how to make the, the, the syntax works. So plus equal is the same as sum equal to sum plus row column. We are making an update every time to the sum variable. So the new sum is equal to the old sum plus row times column. So sum is equal to zero. Let's me, let me go to the first one. Two times two, it is equal to four, but sum is equal to zero. So zero is equal to four. Sum is equal, plus column times row equal to zero, plus uh, four is equal to four. Two times three is equal to six. So two times column. Okay, and so on. Okay, guys, we have introduced the sum as zero. Okay. So you can write, if we hover it, we replace it by plus. Now we need to print ln the sum. Okay. And when you finish from the loop, from the column, the first, co printing the first uh, row, go to the second row by making a new line. Okay? Okay, guys. So let me run and see. And here we go, guys. Oops, I have used print ln. Let me run and see again. Okay, let me pause. So we have some errors. How to do that? How to check them? I need to print the sum with the spaces and the variable sum. Sum. Okay. And let's print out and see the results. Zeros, zeros, and here. So. If I print the sum is not equal to plus, let me check. It's equal to product. Okay, so row and times column. We have zeros here and zeros here. This will be because we have started from one. Let me change it from one, from zero to one. And here I need to change it to five. So I start, despite starting from zeros, I will start from one. So let me run and see. And here we go, guys. We have this table have been verified correctly. So despite using uh, this, I will create a variable called the product. Sorry. And it is now good product okay so we have created this table of uh, uh, multiplication five times three is equal to 50 okay so in this way we have solved exercise number two which is creating the and printing out the multiplication table so we have created it and we learned that uh, how to solve uh, the product by changing the zeros to ones because we need to start from one times two times three times four and times five thank you guys see you next exercises